Okay, so Kevin, can you try? Maybe you can try, okay? Kevin, I tried, yeah. 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 Kevin, I we have to update the Okay, okay, sure, okay. Oh, okay. oh, no problem. Oh, no problem. I also told the other exchange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mose, can you hear me? Yosop, can you hear me? Yeah, it's hard me that. Hard to uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can have a seat, okay? Yeah. Okay, so have a seat. Okay, yeah, I... okay. Uh, let me start today's class. Okay, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, this is Jeon Paul Jung. Um, I will start uh, today class uh, in my office. Uh, two uh, exchange students are also attending. So the Kang Hyunjun, Hyunjun, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. 현준 학생 자, 자기 아, 소개 잠깐 네. 해보실래요? 아, 자, 네. 자기, 아, 저는 이름은 강현준이고 외국에서 살다 왔어요. 네, 알겠습니다. 그래서 영어로 아니. 예, 알겠습니다. 다른 학생들 모세 마이크 좀 할게요. 네, 지금 잘 들리시죠? 네, 잘 들립니다. 뭐 하울링 같은 거 어떤 거 없죠? 네, 자, 깔끔하게 잘 들립니다. 깔끔하게 잘 들리죠. 네, 알겠습니다. So, you, did you access my? So, Kevin, you can forward my email to. Yeah. So, what is your name? Pablo. Oh, Pablo. Oh, Pablo. So, Pablo, can you access? Okay. Yeah. Kevin, can. Yeah. Do, are you showing? Yeah. Okay, now, yeah. Okay. Um, so, I will start. Uh, uh, let me give one minute.
왜 그러십니까? 무슨 일인데요? So yeah, I think other student, yeah, Pablo and Kevin also joined our class. Okay, I'm. Um, welcome, uh, you guys. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the course entitled the uh, data modeling and remote control for networks and security e uh, sw4018 course this is a uh, project uh, my appellation is uh, i'm working for department of uh, computer science and engineering at skko sangyungwan university okay this is me uh, i'm working for internet of things vehicular networks and network security uh, you can um, contact me using my office phone and my email address. Uh, my office is uh, 85 468 and Corporate Collaboration Center uh, Natural Sciences Campus in uh, Suwon Campus. Uh, class hours and online class Tuesday 9 through 11.45. Today, uh, we have a, a relative uh, short uh, class today. And classroom is uh, 85, 5 to 9, uh, this, but uh, I decide uh, we have a uh, full online class. But exam case, uh, your uh, take in class exam, 85, 5 to 9, OK? And the Zoom meeting room, uh, every uh, week uh, i will set up your meeting room uh, i campus case uh, generate i uh, meeting room um the link and uh, meeting id uh, will be changed okay so i will uh, set up um the content of our course so you can click um live lectures okay and my office hour is tuesday um 1 30 through 2 30 p.m in my office, my office here, 85, 4, 6, 8. And also uh, we have a TA, uh, Joseph An. So, uh, okay, Joseph, can you uh, introduce by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, hello, I'm the PhD student uh, in Professor Jung's IOT lab, and I am the TA. Uh, Joseph, could you turn on your video camera? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Yosef An in the PhD student course in the uh Jaehun Jung professor's lab, and I'm TA in this class. And uh, I'm I hope uh, you can study about the data modeling and network 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 security in this class. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Yosef. So uh, you can see um, here um, the contact information, uh, Mr. Yosef An, and including our phone number and the email address. Uh, his office is opposite to me, uh, 85461. 
his office hour is a Tuesday. Uh, okay, the same with me. So what is this course? So let me introduce this course to you. Uh, we will study data modeling and remote control for networks and security. Uh, the contents uh, include the uh, software defined networking SDN, network functions, uh, virtualization, NFV, OpenStack. Uh, we will study one applicability of this SDN NFV based um, security service. It is called I2NSF, stands for Interface to Network Security Function Framework. This one is standardized by uh, ITF. Uh, Young based data model. Uh, this course uh, mainly designed to teach a student, uh, Young and NetComp and LastConf to control and remote monitor for uh, devices. As a um, case study, uh, we'll study a uh, young data model for I2NSF interfaces. The goals in this uh, course uh, through the various topics, uh, you can have a basic knowledge about the data modeling and remote control for networks and security. Secondly, understand the principles of the design and implementation of young data modeling. Thirdly, pick up one interesting area in computer networks and security considering NetComp Young and perform your own research uh, such an area to be associated with the data modeling. Uh, lastly, learn how to research in computer networks and network security. So this is a textbook, but uh, I think you don't need to buy this textbook. You can borrow uh, our course mainly based on uh, internet draft and open source and open uh, documents. So this is uh, for uh, reference. If you have uh, uh, weak some foundation computer networking, uh, you can um, borrow from um, Samsung digital library in Song campus. Okay, you can. It. And the supplemental textbook is uh, cybersecurity and IT infrastructure protection. This one uh, also uh, you can borrow, okay, from library. Um, our course format uh, is a political class. So uh, next slide, you can watch uh, what political class looks like. This course will uh, use the format of pre class uh, as follows. Okay, first of all, uh, watching uh, pre class video uh, lecture. From next week, uh, I will record and upload the, um, the lecture material. So uh, you need to watch uh, the day's uh, class content from iCampus at home or dormitory, okay, a cafeteria. And then during the class, uh, we'll review uh, content and you're working for group activity. So during uh, the uh, review session, um, I will assign group activity problem uh, to you. So currently uh, we have a uh, four students. So uh, just one, I think a group or um, I think, yeah, you guys are uh, teamwork, so I, so um, usually a four problem or a three problem given to you and then you guys, uh, one group, okay? And then um, discuss uh, which problem solving. So you guys assign the one problem and then you can uh, make uh, some nice uh, slide and then submit and then present uh, yeah, each class, okay? So step three, uh, group activity presentation, okay? You present uh, your answers in class and then we can discuss. Uh, lastly, online offline discussion. So uh, you guys are encouraged to discuss course uh, content and group activity, hormone exam, um, offline or iCampus. Uh, we also built a board, okay? So we are set up some discussion board. You can uh, post question and then uh, each student can help also I will periodically take a look and then if you have post some question, we can share uh, your idea and your answer comment, okay? 
So let's uh, watch the video clip uh, to explain click uh, class. the flipped classroom. Let's reverse where traditional homework and lecture take place. Now, I must warn you beforehand, watching this presentation can literally turn your world upside down. The first thing most educators are going to ask is why flip? Well, here are a couple reasons to consider. With a flipped classroom, the content becomes available to students beyond typical classroom time. Students are now able to access the content anytime. Benefit that comes with viewing content in video format is the ability to stop, pause, play, etc. Students can write down questions about the content at home. Then, when students enter the classroom, they are already prepared to ask these questions to their teacher. When a teacher flips a classroom, that teacher is able to walk around the room. Ultimately, flipping a classroom frees up time for teachers to work with students individually. Now, let's take a quick break to think about how our students are used to acquiring knowledge. Students of today mostly learn from their phones and computers. Students of today are comfortable with a flip model because it's how they usually access knowledge. Lastly, we know some students learn faster than others. Flipping a classroom allows teachers to personalize learning. Now, how do you flip a classroom? What steps should you take? All right now, I'm going to outline an eight step path that I have successfully used to flip my classroom. Each step is represented with a star. The first step in flipping a classroom begins with the buy-in. Get your students, parents, and administrators on board with the flip model. Step two, curate the resources you need to flip a classroom. These are resources for instruction, such as YouTube video, online worksheets, quizzes, electronics, etc. Now, moving on to the actual first day of class, classroom management is required for a flip model, just like a traditional model. Very early on, be sure to spend time and incorporate expectations and procedures as this learning style may be new. Number four is technology training. Teachers need to learn how to curate videos through YouTube channels and create playlists, and students must be able to access and interact with online content. Now we get to the actual flipping. And the number five is assign content for homework. Students will access content through videos, hyperdocs, interactive PowerPoints, slides, and much more. Next up, number six. Students work on problems during class time. Students get to work on the application of skills in class where a teacher walks around the room and facilitates and helps students as needed. Moving on to number seven, independent learning. With a flipped classroom, students become independent learners and have the ability to move through the curriculum at their own pace. And the last star in the sky, number eight, peer tutoring. Pair up your advanced students who mastered the content beforehand with students having a hard time completing the problems. So what does it actually look like? The traditional model has students attending school where content is delivered by teachers. And students going home to work on problems. But here we are getting rid of that model and replacing it with a flip model. In the flip model, students work on problems when they are at school and when students are at home, content is delivered online. Here are a couple tools you may need when flipping a classroom. YouTube will allow you to provide video lessons. Social media can help disseminate content. Devices to access online content. Google Doc links, slides to learn content, and sites to find the content. Readings can be used as well. 
right now I would just like to say thank you for your time and please subscribe to this channel and I really would appreciate it and I would thank you very much. Okay, I think you uh, got the idea uh, of what the click list looked like. Okay, let's move on. So let me explain uh, our coursework. Our coursework consists of group activities, four homework assignments, one term project, one uh, midterm, and one minor exams, okay? So let me explain one by one. So group activity, each group uh, consists, you guys, I think, uh, four, I think of the four groups, okay? Four people make one group. And then uh, each class, uh, usually uh, I will give three or uh, four problems, okay? Are given to group uh, problem solving uh, during the class. The groups uh, will make their own answers in PowerPoint slides and submit the slide to iCampus. So uh, we have a three uh, hours class. So the first hour, uh, we review content. Second hour, uh, you guys are working group activity. Okay, also group activity problem, I will uh, uh, post uh, usually um, the Friday before the class and you guys can pre-view uh, uh, the problem and the course content be the clip. And then the group uh, prepare presentation this second hour. And then, um, um, third hour uh, you present, okay? And then the course TA, Yosef An, will create the submitted uh, present material also uh, during the presentation, I also create it together, okay? And the uh, coursework, second part is the homework assignment. Homework assignments are based on textbook and the relevant articles, internet wrapped RFC standard document. Uh, each uh, homework assignment will have several problems and the article leading, such as uh, uh, journal articles, conference papers, and uh, ITF RFC. ITF stands for Internet Engineering Task Force, uh, standard organization. RFC uh, stands for Request for Comment, okay, as an uh, internet standard document. And uh, internet wrapped, related to computer networks and security. Some problems are related to network simulation with uh, or we uh, uh, emulation, okay? Uh, with the NetConf and the Yang, okay? Usually uh, we uh, set up um, emulation uh, such as we set up virtual machine and uh, you can uh, working on, okay? OpenStack, something like that. Uh, these are designed to help the student to work on the term project progressively. Okay, not uh, each assignment must be submitted before the class on the due day and late assignment submission will not be accepted. Remember, note that the discussion is encouraged, encouraged, okay? You guys can discuss together, but the answering should be done individually. Tom project, okay? Okay, term project case, uh, you guys uh, three, currently a uh, post student, okay? You guys uh, build uh, one team, okay? So for the term project about the uh, data modeling and remote control with uh, Net Yang or Let's Yang, okay? The students uh, make their team uh, by themselves, okay? But currently we have a post student. I think just we uh, make one team, I think it is enough. Uh, I will arrange the team. Um, each team uh, can propose a term project topic related to a course and needs to implement its proposed topic with the programming and emulation or real implementation. Note uh, all assignments and term project papers should be uh, written in English because uh, this course is an international course. Okay. Um, okay, exam case, um, midterm exam, you will take October 21st, Tuesday class, uh, 9 through 10, 15 in this classroom in a corporate collaboration center. 
final exam will be delivered on December 12, Tuesday class, the same place, the same time. Uh, final is uh, a non-cumulative exam, including just topics after midterm exam, coverage. Uh, note our assignment to group activity, the term project should be, yeah, of course, um, exam paper should be written in English. Let me uh, briefly um, show the coursework schedule. So today um, I will introduce a course, Introduction to Infrastructure Networks. Um, this one is a um, modeling course, okay? And then cloud-based uh, security service system, uh, I will explain the overall idea for uh, this semester. And then uh, second week, uh, software defined networking SDN and SDN uh, with open DLI and Minina. So you need to uh, learn open um, source code, open DLI and Minina to set up make uh, SDN environment. The third week, uh, we are working for network functions, virtualization, and FOV. And uh, week four, so OpenStack is uh, um, the popular OpenStack, open source uh, um, to make a cloud system, enable um, an FOV and the SDN systems, okay? And the based on um from uh, weeks one through four um we can uh, learn open uh, stack based IT and SF framework. So we have uh, implementation uh, written by our my laboratory. And then uh, week uh, six uh, you will learn a uh, young data model, young based data modeling. And the week seven, uh, netcomp based network management. Uh, um, we are study um, netcomp, okay? And then um, week eight, you need to, uh, it's especially team, prepare term project proposal and present the proposal, okay? And then uh, also I will um, leave you the course material um, for a uh, midterm exam and give you um, some possible, some problems and hints, okay? So you can uh, prefer for midterm exam. Uh, week uh, nine, you'll take in-class exam, midterm exam. Uh, week uh, 10 through week uh, 13, you'll learn uh, 14 uh, data young model from I2 NSF, uh, interfaces. Week uh, 10, I turn a capability young data model. Week 11, I turn restoration interface young data model. Week 12, I turn consumer face interface young data model. And week 13, uh, I turn NSF. NSF stands for network security function facing interface young data model. And the week 14, um, your learn open source uh, written by our laboratory um, security power translator for interface to network security function uh, basically uh, week 12 consumer face interface uh, young based uh, xml document can be uh, translated into ns facing interface uh, young xml uh, using this security policy translator, you learn how to translate, okay? And the week, uh, also uh, week 14, you are learn a monitoring interface, young data model. So those are um, the main content for this uh, course. And then week uh, 15, uh, you will present a uh, Tom project report presentation, including uh, demonstration. Also you explain uh, briefly explain your uh, source code uh, implemented by your team and we'll review your final exam coverage and I will give some hints for you guys and then uh, week 16 final exam will be delivered okay uh, one note here um, I will travel uh, internet standardization um, conference 
from November uh, 4 through 10. So during this uh, week, there is no uh, live Zoom class, okay? So I will upload my video lecture and then uh, assign group activity problems. Uh, you guys uh, um, record the group activity answers and then uh, submit iCampus. And then uh, our TA Yoso will upload. Okay, you can uh, watch, okay, the presentation. That is uh, uh, your, um, okay, work for uh, this week, okay? So uh, corresponding um, November 4 through November 10 week, okay? Okay, and then a uh, homework schedule here. Um, you'll have uh, four homeworks. So homework one uh, will be uh, delivered the September. Okay, pips, and then due day. Usually, I give two weeks. Okay, before the class. Okay, uh, September nineteen. So according to this schedule, uh, you need to prepare for your homework. And term project schedule here. So midterm report out here. So uh, you need to, or uh, um, maybe uh, a couple of uh, weeks later, I think you're here, right? So September 9th and then October 17th, you guys discuss. Also, you can get my advice for term project, okay? And then uh, you prepare for um, report and presentation and some, uh, information uh, you have, you can uh, demonstrate something, okay? And the final report um, out date is uh, October 21st, uh, due day and time is uh, December 5th, 9 o'clock. And the exam schedule, midterm final, midterm exam will be delivered on October 24th um, during the class. Uh, 75 uh, minutes exam. The classroom is uh, 85, 5 to 9 in complete collaboration center. Final exam date is uh, December 12th and the same place, okay? From now on, uh, I will explain grading policy. So um, the overall the score is 100%, okay? So attendance is a 1%, but remember, according to SKKU uh, attendance regulation, more than uh, four absence for three credit uh, course, um, you'll get a F grade. For example, four absence and uh, one late attendance means F grade. So we'll record a Zoom session and then we can record your um, check-in Zoom if you late, okay, um, your account counted as a uh, right, okay. So, so two late attendances means one absence. So please don't uh, be late. And the absence case, uh, if you have some emergency, uh, such as somebody uh, passing away, or you have uh, some disease or sick. So in that case, uh, please uh, uh, let me know by email. Uh, it will be uh, most uh, uh, effective. Okay, usually uh, the my cell cell phone case uh, uh, it is uh, hard to share with you. But if yeah, sometimes I can share. But my pre uh, prepared way to communicate with you uh, the email you can send email. Okay, and then but uh, some cases uh, absence with the reasonable case. Without the pre-notice case, uh, will be considered the one uh, late attendance. Okay, so please, okay, some thing happen. Please, at least you know today, you are absent. Please let me know. Okay, and then group activities nineteen. So absence or uh, this case, if you're going to a hospital, you should uh, submit uh, some uh, verification, some okay document, something like that. Okay, your some uh information uh the get some uh, prescription from doctor okay and then group activities um 19 percent 
homework assignment 20, term project 20, midterm exam 20, final exam is 20. Okay. And final grading is based on the absolute scale, not a uh, relative scale. So total score is one. Uh, not this is this is okay. Let me. Okay. Uh, this one is some something typo. Okay, one hundred. Okay, so because we have uh, sum up. Okay, so one hundred. Okay, one hundred points. Okay. Uh, however, um, so as long as you are working hard. Uh, this is the boundary okay so this is in order to get um a but note that the finer grading policy okay will be determined according to the above guideline and your class uh, performance also your engagement okay so if uh, exam problem difficult and the average is not so good in that case i consider and then I will roll down some boundary, okay? For example, so uh, A plus uh, greater than 75, something like that, okay? Depending on uh, over your performance, uh, your engagement, I adjust, okay? So don't worry. So absolute scale means all of you guys uh, can get A plus as long as you uh, working hard for this course, okay? And the summary, uh, this is a course for data modeling and the remote control for networks and the security. Uh, you will learn the principles and the young data models and the net conf and the less conf. So less than conf case not uh, handle uh, this course, but uh, I think as long as you uh, learn net conf, young, I think less conf you can uh, study by yourself. Also, if you have question, please let me know. You will also learn how to design and implement uh, data driven, driven uh, control protocols in networks and security. If you have a help during the course this semester, please uh, let us know. So me and TA Yosop to um, help you guys. Okay. So enjoy this course fully uh, with me and TA. Okay. Currently, yeah. Um, Previously, I designed uh, two TA, but yeah, we decide that one TA is good enough. Okay, just one TA. Okay, yourself. Okay, so update the slide is uh, I will. Okay, uh, upload. Okay, so I think that this is a kind of let me type for. Uh, okay, data um, modeling. Okay, and remote control. Okay. So any questions so far? Um, okay, uh, updated a slide. Uh, I will uh, share you guys uh, after this. Uh, Class, and then yeah, I think yeah. During the um the class, you can uh ask questions. Maybe after my second uh talk. So, do you have any question? Okay. Let me move on. Um. Introduction to um, cloud-based security uh, services, okay? Okay, um, guys, uh, I will uh, close uh, this session and then I will open again. Uh, um, okay, just a moment. Okay, I think uh, yeah, we can keep going. Okay, don't worry. <clears throat> So I will uh present
I think uh, uh, this presentation may be uh, 40 minutes, okay? Okay. So, hello, uh, guys. Uh, this is uh, John Paul Jung. Uh, I will explain uh, cloud-based security service systems. The content uh, are as follows. The first one is uh, intent-based uh, networking IBM. Second one is uh, cloud-based uh, computing systems. Third one is uh, cloud-based uh, security service systems. And firstly, standardization of interface to network security functions, I2 NSF. Uh, fifthly, uh, open source project for cloud-based security service systems. I will include, uh, conclude uh, uh, this talk. Uh, references you can uh, find here. The first uh, topic is about intent-based networking called IBM. So what is the intent? The English definition from dictionary, something uh, that is the intended purpose. Uh, everyone, person, department, or organization has multiple intents or purposes. For example, an organization can have the purpose to provide the best in class of software to schools. A business process can have the intent to fulfill its described task in the most efficient manner. In general, intent or uh, purpose is a description of goal rather than specific uh, steps, okay? So uh, what is the intent-based networking IBM? So Cisco and uh, VMware, they define the intent-based networking. So intent-based networking is um, important, especially uh, 3GPP, 5G, and 6G. Uh, mobile networks, okay? So IBM uh, transforms a hardware-centric manual network into a controller-led network that captures business intent and translates it into policies. These policies means high-level policies that can be automated and applied consistently across the network. The goal is for the network to continuously monitor and adjust the network performance according to uh, observation to help uh, assure uh, desired business outcomes, okay? This is uh, uh, defined by Cisco. Uh, secondly, uh, intent-based uh, networking IBM uh, is an emerging technology concept that aims to apply a deeper level of intelligence and intended the state to replace the manual processes of computing networks and security and reacting uh, to network issues, okay? This is written by uh, being aware. So the key point here, uh, we want to uh, replace manual operations with intelligent uh, network automation using uh, intelligence uh, such as machine learning and artificial uh, intelligence AI. Here, uh, we have two kinds of examples of intent, okay? So first one is a general intent. The second one is a network intent. The general intent, okay. So I want to uh, need some uh, egg fry for dinner. So. Uh, here uh, we have a specific step, right? So you need to go to um, a wallet, your get your wallet, okay, to buy uh, the eggs, right? And then put on jacket and then go to a supermarket such as e e mart or GS twenty five, and then compare the price, choose eggs, uh, pay at the cashier, uh, go back home, and then you can start. Okay, cook uh, egg fry dinner, right? So this one is one example. The other case also some organization of a uh, dinner party. 
uh, you have specific. So the basic idea is the intent is just uh, specify some goal or objective, okay? And the actual implementation execution uh, steps, uh, procedures to achieve this goal, we have this uh, individual steps, right? Uh, the other intent from that talk point of view, I have a tele uh, presence uh, like teleconference uh, session at 10 a.m. So in that case, um, we have this kind of uh, steps, okay? Create a high definition video session to remote peer, create the required end-to-end -end quality of service parameters, delay and some bandwidth for this specific session. Okay, like reserve bandwidth, set up audio, validate the performance, keep the connection safe and the secure using some IP security, IPsec or TLS, transport layer security. During the session, once finished, uh, disconnect the high definition video session, remote, uh, remove the end-to-end uh, -end of service session and remove the bandwidth reservation. Okay, so uh, once you have this intent, somehow we um, configure this Okay, so like chat GPT nowadays, you uh, ask chat GPT, I want to make a telepresence session from 10 a.m. today, something like that. Okay, so in that case, uh, chat GPT uh, try to make a procedure, okay? Like chat GPT, our IBM case, we make a specific procedure automatically. So translation from intent to uh, execution step, it is called the high level policies, okay? So this translation um, performed by um, intent translator. So we learn uh, this translation step later on, okay? So uh, this figure shows the concept of intent-based networking, okay? Um, the source from the Cisco. So basically the business or IT um, step give some intent, okay? And then this module, translation module is a brain to capture business intent. And then the intent will be translated into high level policy and uh, uh, low level rules over configurations and check integrity. And then that uh, configure the policy delivered to activation module, okay? And then, uh, the orchestrate the policies, uh, make specific some uh, low level rule uh, computer system. Uh, the imports that requested the uh, policy into physical and virtual uh, infrastructure like network system based on uh, hardware or a virtualized infrastructure based on OpenStack or Kubernetes uh, uh, cloud native systems. And then Assurance module uh, periodically um, monitor. It is called the continuous verification, insights, visibility, and the corrective action. So based on the collected monitoring data and the assure performance of required quality of service and required uh, some policy like security. Okay, so simplify the operation, proactive management, and the security uh, through out the net, okay? So uh, this is um, IBM, the cycle, okay? Also called the um, intent uh, cross loop control. Uh, this figure uh, from um, ITF NMRG, Network Management Research Group, uh, RFC, okay? So that RFC uh, defined the um, intent-based networking concept and definition, okay? so. Uh, similar to previous one, so uh, user space, I BN user generate the intent and then translate, and then uh, that uh, delivered translate the uh, intent to translate it into policy, and then this the brain controller learn and uh, make a plan and the uh, render the policy. Okay, and then net operation space. Uh, 
this translator controller gives some low level compression over uh, low level rules and then configure provision. Okay, select some appropriate some network uh, function over a security function. And then they uh, impose that required low level uh, policy or rules. And then this uh, monitor module, monitor and, and observe, okay. And then they deliver monitoring data. And then this analyze part validate uh, the, okay, the performance and the enforcement of rules and the analyze aggregate monitor data. And then the abstract module uh, make a, some uh, abstract, okay. And then uh, they um, here uh, assure and also report module make report and sends uh, the report to I2 uh, IBM uh, user, okay? And then they can um, check uh, the reported uh, um, performance assurance and then they make this side. They uh, optimize and then uh, define the uh, policy delivered to trans uh, later module like that. So this is called the uh, closed loop control, okay? For IBS. Okay, uh, I will explain the, the first part. Okay, the second part is about uh, cloud-based computing systems. So, um, for example, cloud-based security system, a uh, typical example is network security. So, uh, cloud-based uh, um, computing system can monitor and manage security services in an efficient way. So, um, the I2 and SF user, interface to a network security function user. Uh, you can uh, imagine this is a network uh, operator or network uh, security administrator, okay? So they give some uh, high-level policy and the security controller translate the policy into low-level uh, rules. And then uh, firewall and web filter are selected uh, as uh, the network security function to a provision required uh, security services, okay? And then uh, suddenly a uh, user, this is the end user, uh, they generate the traffic and the traffic is uh, um, follows the path according to, okay, security and the rules, okay? And then switch to deliver the traffic to SDN and controller uh, because this uh, traffic is uh, suspicious uh, or um, like um, malicious. And then um, controller forwards the copy of a packet and firewall and the web filter can analyze. And then if the traffic is malicious and take action such as a block, such as the they deliver information to uh, blocking as a firewall, okay? So switch can also uh, open flow switch case uh, its own open flow table and then um, prevent um, the malicious activity from malicious uh, user, okay? The second one is IoT device management. So here IoT uh, devices uh, generate IoT traffic and also SDN controller can uh, monitor the traffic uh, that uh, IoT packet, uh, some meter the packet um, forwarded to IoT uh, monitor, and then they can check integrity and activity checking for privacy, okay, security. And uh, thirdly, um, the smart electricity business uh, management, okay. So, um, so nowadays, uh, solar energy can be uh, shared, okay, between the houses and the factory, okay. So, houses. Uh, they have uh, overcharged uh, um, the solar energy and then using a uh, electricity blocker and then uh, they um, cheerfully uh, sells the overcharged or uh, redundant energy to the factory, okay? So this kind of uh, application labor uh, management uh, can be done uh, using um, cloud-based uh, computer systems. Uh, our class, uh, more or, or less, um, focus on 
third topic, uh, cloud-based security uh, service systems, okay? So this figure uh, shows uh, um, cloud-based security service system with the I2NSF, okay? So I2NSF is a uh, standardized framework, okay, from I ITF, uh, Internet Engineering Task Force, okay? So my uh, IoT lab, uh, we standardized the major uh, five uh, young data uh, model documents as a RFC. So uh, let me explain uh, the concept of uh, uh, I2NSF based the cloud based security service system. So basically, um, imagine um, a smart building has a uh, company employee, okay? So IT administrator has a security policy such as daytime employee cannot access SNS uh, websites such as uh, YouTube, Instagram, tweet, uh, something like that, okay? So that uh, policy um, is translated. So I to an SV user like uh, administrator, so giving uh, time-based uh, firewall uh, policy and the security controller translate and then uh, select some specific some NSF such as uh, uh, time-based uh, firewall and web filter, and then they impose that required policy, okay? So this uh, logical framework can be implemented on top of uh, NFV. Uh, so NFV is uh, ETSI, European Telecommunication Institute, to, okay, um, Standard uh, Institute, okay, ETSI. So uh, they uh, have this kind of uh, I2NSF uh, okay, framework on top of FOV. So um, I2NSF user uh, can be implemented based on OSS and BSSS, operating support system and business supporting system, like a bit dashboard, okay? And then security control um, can be implemented as element manager system, EMS, and the vendors uh, manager system provide the image for uh, NSF, okay? Okay, image, okay, as a virtual machine. NSF face interface is used delivered to uh, role policy to uh, NSF network security function as uh, a virtual network function. So consumer facing interface is uh, deliver um, highlight policy into um, security control. Okay. So registration interface is used to uh, register um, each NSF uh, capability and network uh, access information with. Uh, uh, security controller. So the network uh, management uh, system, it is called the VMS or called the developer's management system, DMS, okay? And then uh, you can see uh, this iTunes framework is on top of um, the NFOV infrastructure. Uh, the upper layer is a virtualized uh, um, resource layer, virtual compute node and virtual storage node, virtual network node, okay? So hypervise, okay, working uh, in virtualization layer. So virtualization uh, using actual hardware computing node and storage node and the network system, uh, like a switch. So they uh, virtualized using hypervise. And the right hand side, we have a manual uh, management and orchestration uh, unit. So uh, they are orchestrate and manage and then providing uh, some virtual, some unit. So this is a, a kind of a, a controller for a network uh, functions, virtualization, uh, and FOV. So this paper uh, um, published by uh, my group. So IBCS, Intent-Based Cloud Services for Security Application. Um, so you can click and then you can report to uh, this paper to uh, see the overall some idea and architecture. 
So a uh, previous uh, uh, one is a uh, base one I2 NSF framework architecture. So uh, I explained briefly, right? So uh, we have this box. We have uh, three uh, uh, systems layer. So the lower layer, we can say uh, security network. The, in the middle, we have a security management system layer. And the upper layer is a um, security and client or user layer, okay? So I turn the user uh, gives some other policy like daytime SNS uh, access policy, right? So the over consumer facing interface, so you can see I turn itself a user is a consumer and the controller is a producer. Okay, that's why consumer in the stance of a security controller, I turn user is a consumer, right? So that's why consumer facing interface. Uh, on the other hand, uh, NS facing interface here, right? So uh, security controller uh, translate talent policy from uh, I turn up the user and translate highlight policy into learnable policy and then uh, select appropriate NSF as a uh, provisioner and then uh, translate the policy delivered over uh, NSF uh, face interface like a fiber, web filter, defect inspection and antivirus, something like that. And then develop a management system over vendors management system they're providing the image like virtual machine, okay? So the virtual uh, machine image uh, should be uh, registered in the security controller to uh, provision uh, required um, network uh, security service, right? So the registration of the capability of uh, each NSF uh, will be done over registration interface, okay? Now, once we have that uh, security um, translation enforcement, and then, for example, video client and the video server, uh, they make uh, some secure, some channel, okay, using IPsec or TLS, okay? Especially uh, some firewall, web to other security uh, services also can be uh, Okay, provided using service function training. Okay, so this kind of architecture is based on uh, RFC 8329. So internet draft and the standardization document has four digit number, okay, nowadays. And the framework for interface to network security functions, i app, you can click this document, okay? So you can, um, Click uh, this one. Uh, you can uh, watch. Okay. Okay. The RPC thirty two of eight three twenty nine. Okay, so you can. Okay. So uh, Diego Lopez and. Uh, Edward Lopez, uh, Linda Dumber, John Strassner, and Rakesh Kuma, uh, they are the authors of uh, this document, okay? So you can hear uh, the content and the reference when you click, you can see the overall architecture, okay? Similar to my uh, PowerPoint figure, right? So you can uh, read this art purpose to understand the specific uh, some interface okay description okay okay uh let's move on so um i explained the three major interfaces uh, such as uh, Registration interface, consumer face interface, uh, answer face interface. So registration, registration interface here uh, is used to 
by uh, developers management system DMS to register on NSF capability into security controller with uh, the NSF uh, capability, okay? And consumer page interface is used for iTunes user here, consumer facing interface here, right? To deliver high level policy to security controller. Okay, so security controller has a security policy translator. So that uh, high level policy, security policy translate into relevant security policy or rules. So translated royal policy is delivered by NSF face interface here. NSF face interface between security controller and NSF, okay? Used for security controller to deliver a low level security policy to on uh, appropriate NSF as a provisioner, okay? Of required uh, security service. Uh, note security controller translate the received high level security policy into the corresponding low level security policy I mentioned before. So from now on, I will explain um, three kinds of uh, some important feature of ITNSF uh, framework. So first one is uh, SDN, software defined networking. So uh, you can see upper part is uh, your familiar uh, with it, right? ITNS framework. And the role part is uh, SDN network, okay? So SDN uh, controller here. So security controller interact with the uh, uh, SDN controller and then governs um, some SDN uh, switches as a, um, part of a network security function, okay? So open flow case, they uh, manage the open flow uh, table, so it can um, play a lot of um, pi, pi, uh, pi world, okay? So it can uh, simple, some filtering can be done, okay? The uh, second one is um, with SFC, uh, sub function chaining. So uh, you can see uh, we make uh, a sequence of uh, services uh, for security, such as a firewall, web filter, uh, DPI, deep uh, packet inspection. So uh, we want to make uh, some combination of uh, some M number of uh, the NSFs, and then uh, we make a, okay, combination, a kind of uh, enumeration of uh, uh, network security functions, okay? So that can be done, uh, SFC, SFC also uh, ITF standards, okay? So the basic idea is the NSF triggers advanced security action, like some web filter or something like that. In the case of uh, suspicious packet, okay, that one forwarded uh, to appropriate uh, uh, next NSF. So in order to that, uh, SFC, they are using uh, an SH, so this is a uh, stands for network security header. So NSH uh, contain uh, service function um, forwarding information, okay? So classifier case, this one is originally uh, contact with the security controller try to make a service function chaining uh, pass, okay? So they update uh, NSH information of the corresponding uh, flow packet so that the the packet follows an NSF pass, okay? Uh, where an NSF with the required security uh, capability like a firewall, web filter, something like that. And then based on updated NSH information, so classifier, they uh, set up specific NSS, uh, the header sequence, okay? And then looking at that uh, NSH and uh, service, function forward, okay, can update the current point uh, NSH uh, and then forward the appropriate one one by one. So for example, packet is given here. They should follow a uh, firewall web filter uh, DPI. So in that case, security uh, controller, okay, talk to a uh, uh, classifier, they make this one and then packet, is given to SFF and then they uh, forward the packet to Fiverr first and then they 
return SF and then they forward the web filter and then return in the forward the DPI. Okay, one by one. The yeah, solely uh I two SF framework can be um implemented on top of NFLV. NFLV is the referent standard body uh standard, right? So ETSI, European Telecommunication um, Standard Institute. Okay. So here uh I explained, right? So upper part is uh, um this one is uh, uh, virtual network function layer, okay? So, i user can be uh, implemented the dashboard, OSSI, BSSI, and then security control of uh, vendor's management system or developer's management system can be uh, done using uh, element manager. And then each uh, security function uh, can be implemented uh, uh, as network, uh, virtual network function, okay? So, uh, an app VI infrastructure, uh, this, okay, uh, module provide the virtualized uh, uh, resources, uh, CPU and uh, storage and this kind of uh, the network, okay, services. So, uh, virtualization layer is called the hypervisor, uh, making virtualized resource uh, using hardware uh, resources, okay, CPU group or core group and uh, storage, okay, SSD, something like that, and then that took some ports, okay. And the right hand side is called the uh, mono uh, management and uh, orchestration module. So it uh, consists of three kinds of uh, thing. Uh, first one is NFB orchestrator, and second one is uh, VNF manager. Uh, so the one is virtualized infrastructure manager. Okay, it is called a beam. Okay, so you can see, uh, such as a uh, hala policy given to here, and then they um, okay, make okay, activate uh, some VNS, and then they are uh, giving. So they uh, launch some appropriate VNS, and then giving the access information, and then deliver to access information, and then translated uh, policy including the extra access information for security services, okay? Uh, orchestrator, uh, this is uh, over some carbon, okay, months can be done. And then, uh, so we, from now, uh, we uh, advanced uh, some iTunes sample framework with the cross-loop security uh, control for IBM, intent-based networking, okay? So the previously uh, iTunes framework uh, doesn't have iTunes app uh, uh, analyzer. So uh, this uh, document is uh, uh, my uh, group's document. So my student uh, Linga and I uh, propose a new interface. It is called the uh, analytics interface, okay? So the basic idea is uh, um, the NSF, okay, report monitoring data over monitoring interface, okay? And then uh, I2 NSF analyzer uh, using machine learning, artificial intelligence, and then make uh, some report, okay? So uh, generate the comparison over uh, feedback information, and then uh, deliver that, okay, the comparison policy over feedback information over analytics interface so that information delivered to a security controller and then they reconfigure or report that reported uh, information, okay? So let me explain uh, one by one in more detail. So policy configuration case, sometimes, um, for example, some new, um, some uh, botnet, some botnet is a kind of, uh, kind of a distributed um, uh, denial of service attack, right? So in that case, uh, the NSF detect that kind of new uh, botnet attack and then monitor the, uh, that information uh, who are engaged in the botnet nodes and then using machine learning for data analysis, make a reconfigure to block like a firewall service and then uh, they configure the uh, policy given to 
uh, NSF controller. And then, uh, so NSF controller select appropriate NSF for firewall service and then the configure, okay? And then the imports. And then uh, second one is PDF information, such as uh, some uh, hardware, memory, or CPU overloaded by uh, traffic service. So NSF report to some data and the security uh, alternate user using machine learning and then make feedback. So we need to make more uh, NSF for uh, firewall service or filter uh, new service. That information given. And then uh, secure controller uh, sends report to alternate user also uh, make a uh, query to generate new uh, NSF for uh, firewall or web filter service, DMS, okay? So DMS uh, generate new uh, NSF and then get some IP address and then they return uh, security controller and then security controller can uh, reconfigure for that resource uh, some increase, okay? So next topic, uh, so uh, this course, um, we needed to also understand the um, security policy translation. So high level security policy, like uh, um, some company during uh, work time, they cannot access uh, SNS like uh, YouTube, Instagram. So that is called the uh, CFI policy, consumer facing interface policy, XML file, or JSON file, and then translate into NSF network secure function. Okay, face interface policy. It is called the low level security policy. So this translation can be done by security policy translator, and then that uh, translated uh, low level NFI policy XML will be delivered over. Uh, NSF face interface, okay? So selected the appropriate um, NSF, they configured with that uh, security uh, configuration and then they um, perform required uh, security service, okay? So this figure um, explain uh, security policy translation, okay, procedure. So I turn it to user give highlight policy, okay? So security policy uh, translator is a part of security uh, controller, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, this example is uh, um, time-based SNS, uh, uh, SNS uh, firewall service. So um, highlight policy uh, saying employee cannot access SNS service. Currently time information is uh, omitted, okay? So, Extractor um extracted the meaningful uh, high level data, and then step three uh, this uh, data convert the module, uh, convert high level data into low level uh, data such as employee translate into appropriate um IP addresses or IP subnet. Okay, uh, indicating the employees machines. Okay. And the destination as soon as translate into specific Facebook, Instagram um, URL, okay? Web address, okay? And the action is the same. And uh, so translate uh, high level data into low level data, uh, they uh, need help from the database because database uh, has the mapping between employee and uh, use the DHCP, some IP, version for addresses and the information of SNS URL, facebook.com, instagram.com can be uh, stored into a uh, database here. So, and then part of uh, generator case, translated low level uh, data is uh, uh, constructed into XML using uh, Piang find, okay, so our case, uh, Piang find, uh, the module can make XML for NSPACE interface configuration policy, okay? Okay, uh, so now uh, I will 
briefly uh, introduce um, our um, group's standardization uh, activity of I2NSF interface to network security functions, okay? So uh, I2NSF working group, uh, its uh, goal is to standardize cloud-based security service system. Uh, I2NSF working group was established in uh, 2015 uh, and is closed uh, in 2023, uh, okay? So our uh, main contributors are uh, SKKU, uh, including me, uh, Huawei, and Telefonica. So working group chairs are Linda Dumber from Futureway and uh, Yao uh, Neil. Okay, he is uh, the inventor of IPsec. Okay, one of uh, yeah the contributors of IPsec and main editor uh, for ITNSF Young Data Model uh, is it's me. So interface to uh, network security functions, uh, I2NSF website here, okay? So you can Google search um, I2NSF, so you can find that this kind of, okay? Working group, okay, page, okay? So working group uh, introduce uh, some, uh, current state is conclude means it is over, okay? Because uh, all required uh, some goals are achieved, okay? So chairs uh, Linda Dunbar and the Yao uh, area director governs this working group uh, higher than the working group chairs. He is uh, uh, Roman Danny Liu. Okay, he is um, CTO in CMU some software uh, center. So this is the email address for ITNSF working group and uh, to subscribe uh, you can click and then you can use a major double you can uh, join this one. And then uh, archive of uh, the email archive to see the history discussion, you can click, you can see, okay, the work so far. And then uh, standardized by uh, ITNS working group, RFCs are three. So RFC uh, 8192, uh, problem statement use case. Uh, I am also uh, one of uh, authors, okay, this document. And this specify the problems and the use cases of I2NSF, kind of motivation of I2NSF. And then uh, RFC 8329, the framework for interface to network security function I2NSF, okay? So we uh, saw briefly before, right? And then the RFC 9061, uh, uh, this one is a young data model for IPsec. Uh, pro protection based uh, based on uh, SDN, okay, software defined networking. So you can uh, see uh, this URL, you can uh, watching uh, this uh, three uh, RFCs, okay. So you can click and you can uh, take a look, okay, RFCs. And then, uh, so working group uh, active internet draft, so those, um, the six draft. Uh, are uh, written by uh, our mainly our SKK IoT lab. So I am the editors of all six uh, draft. Okay. So the applicability uh, uh, document. So how to uh, apply iTunes app layer network? Like uh, we saw SDN network, service function chaining, and NFV environment. Okay. And then a couple of the young data model and the consumer facing interface, and as facing interface and registration interface, uh, and as monitoring young data model, or uh, documents are uh, approved as RPC. So, uh, so we'll get uh, RPC number soon. And this is individual related internet drafts, not working group draft. So. Most uh, uh, of them uh, from uh, my group, IoT Lab. So the security uh, management automation of uh, cloud-based security uh, services in I2S framework and analytics interface for uh, closed loop uh, security control. And this one is translator, okay? So guidelines for security um, policy translation in I2S And this draft is for um, 
uh, security uh, controller facing interface young data model for cross domain, which means uh, basically I2NSF is designed for one domain, one single SDN controller. But uh, if we have a larger network, like some data center is a large, like Google and Amazon, so we needed to more secure controller. So in that case, security controller uh, can be uh, connected uh, over uh, security controller face interface, okay? So this draft that we providing that kind of multi-domain uh, security, um, okay, IPsec-based protection. And this one is uh, written uh, by other group, uh, Young Data Model for uh, Attacks Intelligent Detection. So to draft uh, security management automation and analytic interface, uh, there be reviewed by RFC through independent submission because uh, iTunes working group is closed, but uh, we can uh, still uh, standardize using uh, independent uh, um, submission stream, okay? And the other document case uh, uh, currently not uh, planned yet, but the uh, guideline is uh, uh, specifically explain algorithm and procedure. So we submitted um, this one um, to, uh, we made uh, some experiment or something and then submitted some journal. So I think that this one just published a journal rather than ITF uh, RFC. And uh, this security uh, control phase interface, a young case, um, so we can consider later on, okay? So uh, for ITNSF activity, uh, we used open source project uh, for cloud-based security service systems, okay? So uh, this is ITF hackathon. Usually ITF uh, preliminary uh, working group uh, meetings uh, held every uh, three months, okay? So um, ITF 104 hackathon, I remember this is uh, held uh, pra in Czech Republic, okay? So uh, this is my group, uh, this is, it's me, okay? So I turn as a working group and uh, IP wave another uh, working group, uh, IP uh, button six, wireless access in vehicle environment. Uh, so my group also uh, read that working group for the vehicle networks, okay? So this is Yang Jinya, uh, he is a graduate. He uh, designed uh, security policy controller with me. So uh, ITF one on four iTunes custom project. Uh, so um, so um, we uh, work with uh, Professor Young An Kim from Sungshil University, also the Etri researchers. Okay, uh, Doctor Jung Suk Park, Etri uh, Electronics. Uh, and Telecommunication Research Institute, Hanguk uh, Tong Jin in Korean. And uh, Dr. Jin Young Kim, he is uh, currently uh, working for Samsung Research. And the three, uh, uh, two students, Patrick uh, Jung Hyun uh, from my uh, IoT lab. And then Ha Dong Bak, uh, he is undergraduate as intern, Kevin University in the United States. So this is iTunSF framework, and this is uh, um, Security policy translator, right? So uh, you are familiar with uh, this diagram, right? So policy, policy given translator uh, using this kind of three step. And then the mapper is a uh, uh, high level young data model and low level young data model automatically map, okay? And then they store the mapping information into uh, an SOF data uh, base as a prerequisite step. And then after that, high level policy uh, can be automatically translated is uh, translated into low-level policy, okay? And then uh, generated the low-level policy is delivered to appropriate uh, NSF to enforce the requested uh, security policy, okay? So um, this is open source project, GitHub. You can click, you can find the source code. And this is a implementation environment. And uh, this is a manual. And this uh, uh, project content, okay. And this uh, I ITF one on four, the hackathon project case. Uh, the main uh, goal was automate 
automatic uh, generation of royal policy with the policy project visioning uh, using uh, our okay translator so the implementation of the internet draft uh for hackathon uh this draft most uh, all of uh, drop uh, from my group and most of them uh, published as RPC nowadays and uh, okay uh, approved okay RPC's uh, implementation of security policy uh, translator is the main uh, core this uh, Hackathon project so this figure uh, explains the security policy translator uh, the overall architecture of our uh, scheme consists of five components such as the data extractor here and then converter nsf database power generator and the data model mapper so uh, i will explain briefly one by one so data model mapper so this is a, a high level consumer facing interface young data attribute you, you can see just the uh, data model has uh, some, for example, fallacy name is a, a attribute or called a uh, variable. So should be matched with uh, some corresponding uh, role fallacy uh, model, young data model, NSFS interface, young data model. Uh, this one is a name, policy name, right? So there is uh, some similarity, right? Some CFI policy name, security policy name. This is NSF. Uh, NFI security policy name. So not exactly the same, but similarly, right? So this uh, mapper can be yeah mapped. So the high level security policy, this is uh, XML uh, based on uh, consumer face interface, okay? So uh, data young model make uh, some template for policy. And then uh, this XML is called in, uh, Y-I-N. So yang is a plus, in is a minus, something like that, okay? In the Chinese, plus P. So um, using uh, this yang model, we make uh, this uh, XML, and CFI policy, high level security policy. So policy name is a security policy for blocking SNS. Rule name is a block uh, access to SNS during office hour. And then the fiber source is the employees and then Rather, filtering is a uh, SNS website. Okay, uh, we extract uh, this high level information and then we uh, translate these low level policy. Okay, like the previous SNS, uh, employee uh, translate is the subnet for employees' machines, and then the SNS website translated the uh, Facebook, Instagram specific uh, URL domain. Okay our services, okay? So first of all, uh, data uh, conversion. So SNS policy, translated SNS policy, right? Policy name, rule name, rule name is the same, but source employee translate into source IP for networks, subnet, uh, URL name, SNS website translate into specific URL for uh, Facebook and Instagram. And action drop, Drop, which means this kind of employee source and the destination is a website. We should uh, drop. Okay, this is the data uh, conversion, and then we uh, figure out what kind of NSF <coughs> are used for this uh, policy. So first one is a firewall, uh, second is a web filter. Uh, using a decision tree, uh, one of the machine learning, uh, we can. Um, Right, or we can use a set cover algorithm, right? So we can currently uh, our translator use a set cover algorithm and we can cover appropriate these fields, okay? So select the two uh, NSF, firewall and web filter, and then we can make this appropriate XML for uh, each of them. So our project is an open source project at GitHub. You can click and then we can, uh, you can find it, this iTunes framework. Also, uh, we uploaded the, um, this Hackathon project uh, demonstration. Click, and then you can see uh, your, you can see uh, front and the back end, okay? This is uh, iTunes 
ETF for one of the hackathon demo. So this is a, a hackathon team information, and this is a hackathon team. So at that time, uh, so my PhD student uh, Patrick and uh, Jung Hyun, we worked together. Okay. Uh, this is uh, okay. Demonstration for actually, and uh, my team uh, work for this one. So together, okay. Just a moment, uh, we can see the demonstration, okay. Just a moment. Okay, let's uh, watch the video clip and this one, okay? So we uh, work with the uh, Atri, okay? Team and uh, my team and one company, okay? For so using an open stack, so we made okay i don't know so this is is the uh dashboard you can see i turn uh user can be implemented using ossi and pssi pss all right operating support system and the PS support system using dashboard so visual you know you know graphic interface so select some okay policy okay so register using registration interface. Okay, so Shurikata is open source for uh, IDS IPS intrusion detection intrusion um, detection system. So we implemented the uh, um, replica using um, Shurikata. Okay, the firewall case uh, the okay. So startup company from Korea they uh, provided. Okay, so the uh, our goal is uh, um, time based. Um, you are filtering, okay? So employee uh, device, uh, some name, uh, and then subnet information is registered using consumer facing interface, okay? Into um, iTunesF database, okay? And then register SNS uh, URL to SNS, uh, iTunesF, um, NSF database, okay? And employee uh, the host sub subnet and uh, ranges okay security policy is, you can see time based 9 a.m through 6 p.m they cannot access this sns website okay and then drop something like that this is high level policy okay and then create a rule and then offline so after this one work time uh the evening in the morning so all traffic is blocked a kind of second security policy and then uh their project name is a security on air and the itunes itself controller here and the user device like a web browser so currently um you can see um facebook and instagram uh, access but after enforcement of the security policy they cannot access okay so okay so using openstack uh, they provide this kind of feature and compilation okay so so we uh, make service function training okay so service function training so here we have a fiber your the repeater should cut okay they ingress entrance of network and the exit of a network egress okay so we make a sub function training like this okay so we make a sub function like this okay i tap 105 okay so each service has this kind of different also different sub function chain services okay Okay, so virtual machine are used for virtual fiber, virtual, okay, the picture, three cup, okay.
So applying your filter, I turn it. So okay, let's see. They cannot. So they cannot access the Facebook, Instagram, right? Because we applied the okay SNS. Okay, service during work time, office hour. Okay, thank you for watching uh, this one. Okay. So conclusion, uh, this talk uh, introduced the intent-based networking IBM for infrastructure management with AI. So introduction to IBM, standardization body activities for IBM. So it also explained the interface to network security function ITNSF for uh, infrastructure security management with AI, uh, such as uh, security services in cloud or edge. And IoT uh, device management, IBM and ITNSF can be Used for uh, security service for 5G, beyond the 5G, 6G core networks, something like that. Okay. So uh, this is a uh, references. So ONF, Open Network Foundation SDN architecture. So you can uh, click and you can see the architecture of ONF SDN and the NFV. Okay. So click this one, for example. NFV architectural uh, framework, okay. Uh, something like that. So click ETSI, okay. So ETI in European standardization body, right? So ETSI, uh, network uh, functions, virtualization, NFV architecture, um, the framework, okay. So this is a uh, uh, content uh, of uh, this uh, NFV framework. Uh, okay. So the uh, references, overview, and uh, some scope, something like that. Okay. They uh, explain. Uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, you can uh, briefly uh looking at uh, this kind of thing, terminology and uh, something like that. Okay. So let's go back to okay, references. Okay. And then the ITNSF working group case, click this one, ITNSF, currently a concluded. So uh, you can uh, watch, okay, this information. So the charter information working group, and then the milestone, and then they are finished, okay. And then the document here, okay. And then um, you can see the Active document here, for example, consumer page interface. Oh, yeah, here. So I'm editor for this document, uh, the 31 version. Okay, so I'll click uh, XML file and then uh, consumer page interface, young data model can be, uh, can be, uh, okay. So, um, for example, young case. Okay, young tree diagram case. Uh, currently, the consumer page interface we are learning later on. So consists of policy and the point group threat. So part consists of rule, rule consists of event, condition, action, ECL. Okay, and then uh, so each uh young has uh, some policy, policy name, some language. We are using usually English, right? Priority, UCG, resolution, conflict, resolution, rules. Okay, so rules here, endpoint group, threat uh, prevention. So this is young tree, is called the young tree. And then uh, based on young tree, uh, we make actual young module, okay? 
here yang module here uh, we uh, define this yang okay so kind of like looks like the c something like that okay structure time okay so yang is specify this yang module quite long right based on yang this one and then uh, we provide um the example xml uh, example high level sql policy here here right so for example uh, this is a registration device so we saw the demonstration right for it three eighty eight uh ri and i skq we work together right so register device and user information right so this is a employee subnet information user group device group url information okay so registration for that and then block sns access during a business hour we saw the demonstration right so this xml is a user okay okay this is high level block so this high level uh, information is actually um, um, translate into low level policy so it's nsfh interface right so nsfh click this one and nsf um for example young uh xml case block social network service right so in that case you can see specific some uh, ip addresses right and then uh, some also uh, url information will be provided okay url filtering is advanced work and then sns one and two something url information is provided okay this kind of so uh, this translation is uh, uh, described in this page right so related document um security uh policy translation this document okay security policy translation document this one guideline for security policy translation in itonsf so this uh, explain the relation uh, between consumer face interface and nsf face interface young data model they uh, explain the mapping information okay so explain the mapping information and then actual translation this is um how to map uh, and then uh, over architecture of security file translator here so you familiar with the people right so uh, um, so i explained this one okay one by one so you guys can uh, understand okay uh, this one okay okay so any questions or comment so far okay um so the etsi uh european standard uh telecommunications standard institute okay so i double check so thank you for your listening any questions of a comment for our class okay so i think yeah during uh this course uh you can learn um i2 nsf is a case study uh so young data model and remote control so we uh share our implementation okay i2 nsf work so you can take this course and i think you're very uh will be good at uh young modeling and uh, implementation next come for last come okay so Hyunjun, uh pablo kevin do you have any questions or comments otherwise we can finish today's class okay so uh today we only uh make sure um so i will uh, post uh friday afternoon our the week two class you need to watch okay that is attendance okay and then monday uh before the class you need to watch the video clip and then um uh, we uh review the content quickly focus on some topic and then uh i will yeah explain group active problem so you guys are working uh, together for group activity and present okay so maybe you can uh, select the one team leader uh, among you guys, and then uh, so submit.
the slide uh, team leader as a representative, okay? So thank you for your attention and see you next Tuesday morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.